Hi guys, this is me Osama Gaza. Welcome to my channel and in today's tutorial we'll be actually seeing how to create this um, animated light effect or steady blackout effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it's super easy, it's not what it looks like but the thing is it just takes some time to uh, accomplish so yeah let's see how we can do this. Alright guys, so the first step to uh, successfully apply this effect is of course to film your footage at night. Uh, it goes without saying. Uh, the second point is try to choose the right timing so the sky must be super dark uh, the buildings or the city lights must be super bright uh, that's how you can perfect it uh, the third thing in my opinion that the best way to achieve this um, effect correctly is by having your camera fixed in the same position because if you film while moving the camera when you actually try to apply this effect it's going to be super hard um, to maintain the same positioning of the mask we're going to create because you know the, the screen and the objects in the screen will be moving in different directions and it's going to be hard for the mask to follow up with this movement all right guys so now we have everything ready for the post production what i'm going to do now is create a color mat and to create a color mat you can use the same button as we do in create an adjustment layer or you can just go to file new and choose color mats all right and it's going to ask you to maintain the same um, footage settings you already have which is three frames per second yes click ok and here try to not just go with the black color mat try to choose what color matches your clip the most and here I'm gonna use this dark spot on my building and just gonna make it a little bit darker yeah something like that and hit OK color mat then I'm gonna drag it and drop it here in this track above my clip so now as you guys can see the color mat is covering my clip and in order to fix that I'm gonna use the rectangle tool which is pretty much the same thing as the masking tool but instead of creating masking points it creates a masking shape all right now the following step will be just dropping the opacity a little bit see what I'm working with and I'm gonna make it like uh, uh, 80 percent 90 percent is okay I'm gonna pick my rectangle tool and start creating a shape around the places that I want to um, apply the effect onto. Then I'm gonna actually uh, turn the opacity back to normal 100% and of course when you actually apply this effect try to pay more attention to the small details so try to draw your shape um, on the exact places you want to apply the effect onto. Uh, I didn't perfect it here. Um, I didn't really care. I'm just trying to show you guys the idea of, of how to create it. But of course, when you try it on your own, try to pay more attention to the color, the exact places and positions you want to draw these masks onto. Yeah, that's really important. All right, and now the final step here will be actually manipulating the movement of this mask using the keyframes in the mask path in order to create or uh, finally achieve this effect properly so uh, first of all I'm gonna make sure that my cursor is at the beginning of my color mat and now I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna highlight my mask path and drag it all the way down like this then create a keyframe then it actually depends on how fast or slow uh, you want to apply the effect uh, here I'm just gonna make it so fast or like you know I'm gonna make it fast so I'm gonna move my cursor one or two keyframes forward like that then I'm gonna highlight my mask path then um, drag it all the way up again like this Right now I'm gonna make sure that I'm highlighting my uh, color mat then move my cursor two more keyframes forward and pretty much do the same thing I'm gonna drag it down but not all the way down just two-third the distance or something then highlight my color mat again one or two keyframes move it up a little bit right let's check out what's going on here guys so I'm gonna play it yeah well, as I mentioned before guys, uh, it's a pretty tedious process and it takes some time to perfect um, but it really depends on how long you want to have this effect in your video so um, about like a one or two seconds would be more than enough I guess otherwise if you want to go any longer you just have to be a little bit patient and uh, you know, do the work 
Alright, so that was pretty much everything about the city blackout effect or the light animation effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not. And follow me on Instagram to stay updated with my videos.